Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to sew in a centered zipper. I'm using an open-ended zipper but you can also use this technique on a regular dress zipper. I'm inserting this zipper into the center back of my jasmine bodice, princess jasmine that is, from the new Aladdin live action movie. I've already pinned down the center back edges of where I want the zip to go so I can show you where I want the zip to be placed in the final product. Okay, so on to the tutorial. So start by matching up any places where you want the seams to match. In my case, I want the nude fabric to match with the nude and then same with the blue teal fabric on the top. Pin down these edges right sides together. And then use chalk to mark a straight line of where to sew. Chalk markings make it a lot easier to follow when hand basting. Now hand baste down the line that you just drew with chalk. With really large stitches like this, they can be easily cut and removed later on. After hand basting the entire seam, Give it a quick press with the iron so that the seam allowances lay nice and flat. Now we can move on to the actual zipper. With the zipper completely zipped up, lay it face down directly on top of the seam we just basted. Make sure that the zipper teeth align with the seam line. Now pin it all down into place. Then we're back at it again with the hand basting. I know that hand stitching is annoying and time consuming, but it really does help with the finished product. Especially in my case where I'm working with multiple layers, including chiffon, polyester and cotton. So hand basting everything down before running it through the machine ensures that none of the fabrics will slip and slide all over the place. And now we can start with the sewing machine. Make sure to use a zipper foot for this step. I've turned my garment right side out so I can no longer see the zipper. Only the metal bottom part where the zipper detaches and the zipper pull peeking through just there. So two lines either side of the zipper. These stitch lines will be seen from the outside so make sure you change your thread colour to match your fabric. It's a good idea to go slow at the beginning when you're still getting a feel for where the zipper is underneath all of the fabric. Sew close to the zipper teeth, but be careful not to sew over the top of it. I've sewn about one centimetre away from the centre back seam. Now you can see that one of my seams has a lot of puckering going on. That's because I was pulling on it too much, especially on the chiffon when sewing it under the machine, and this caused it to warp and pucker. The other seam, as you can see, turned out pretty well. Now it's time to take out the basting stitches from earlier. Also cut all the basting threads from the centre seam and, and, and 
ta-da, a scented zipper. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do want to see how this jasmine costume turns out, make sure to subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot more jasmine content in the coming months. Until then, stay creative.